I love this, and I had never heard about it until I read this comment and did some homework. This is the story about the Battle of Bamber Bridge. Now, I'm having some trouble finding the information. Maybe someone can help me out here. But I can't confirm if this happened before or after the battle took place. But it's absolutely true. In 1943, most of the military was still segregated. So when the U.S. military asked for a whites-only bar, all three pubs that were in Bamber Bridge responded by putting black soldiers only in signs in their windows. Needless to say, that kind of put the U.S. military in their place. This is the only map I could find of Bamber Bridge. Don't know exactly where it is. But here's the story. On the 24th of June, 1943, the 1,511th Quartermaster Truck Regiment, an all-black unit, had some members that were drinking out in town. Now, from differing sources, we're not really sure exactly how the trouble started, but two MPs from an all-white MP unit were dispatched to go deal with members at the pub. During this time, U.S. service members were not allowed to be out in town without a pass, and they were not allowed to be out without being in the proper uniform. When they entered the bar, they came face-to-face -face with Private Eugene Nunn, a member of the 1511. Can't confirm, but apparently he was wearing a field jacket instead of his Class A uniform. They asked him to step outside, and an argument began. During the argument, one British service member was actually quoted saying that they aren't doing anything wrong. Why are you bothering them? Staff Sergeant William Byrd, another member of Nunn's unit, diffused the situation, but as the MPs were pulling away, apparently a beer was thrown at their vehicle. Apparently this MP unit had some very deep-seated racist tendencies, as the story goes. Those two MPs got backed up by two other MPs and ran it past their commander. They intercepted the soldiers on their way back to base. Something, we don't know how, escalated until eventually Private William Crossland was shot and killed, a member of the 1511. At this point, rumors about MPs trying to kill black soldiers started to run rampant through the camp. The acting commander of the MPs and the commander of the 1511 met with each other and promised that justice would be served. Unfortunately, several jeeps and one armored car full of MPs showed up. This prompted members of the 1511 to arm themselves. Members of the 1511 were seen walking through town warning the British civilians to stay indoors. Right around that time, a firefight broke out between the 1511 and the MPs. The fighting stopped the following morning at about 4 a.m. At that time, they realized that one MP, one officer, and two black soldiers were shot, and two MPs were nearly beaten to death. After the court-martial, 32 black service members were found guilty of mutiny and related charges. However, piss-poor leadership and rampant racism in the MP unit was considered to be the cause of that fight that night. General Eaker, shortly afterwards, desegregated the MP unit and desegregated the quartermaster unit. He also removed many people who he believed to be racist or incompetent leaders. After that was done, court-martials in the area plummeted. Lastly, I'm not trying to rile anybody up, cause any trouble, or get canceled. This is just a statement of the facts.